Hey everybody, this is Dustin Bailey. I just want to give you a quick look at what the PC performance of Batman Arkham Knight is like on sort of a mid-range computer. I've got a i5 processor, 8 gigs of RAM, and a GTX 960. So about as low-end as a meaningful gaming computer can possibly be. Um, I've got all the settings turned up right now. Got everything on aside from V-Sync, about as high as it can go. And we'll hop into the in-game benchmark here. We'll see what's up. Let this load up here. And one thing I've noticed with this in-game benchmark is that it tends to... Well, it, it's not especially taxing. Um, there, there's not actually a lot visually going on during this thing, which kind of misrepresents the actual performance you're going to be getting in game. I should note also that um, the actual recording is going to bring down performance a bit. Um, one of the primary just sort of bells and whistles in this version of the game is that. Uh, interactive smoke which is very nice looking but it does tend to bog the PC down a bit let this scene play out and switch to the next and once we get into the open world is where we start seeing more of those performance issues Got that volumetric lighting. We'll see the Batmobile come in now. Demonstrate a few more of those smoke effects. You can see it's really chopping up now. One more fly through of the city. Some more of that lighting, those rain effects. And this is where the benchmark ends. Um, 20 to 30 on a mid range card. Obviously, that's, that's decent. Uh, not what you want to play with, obviously, but uh, you see that minimum of one there. The frame rate will tend to hold steady, but there can be some serious choppiness in here. I think it has to do with the higher resolution textures. Uh, let's hop into the open world real quick, the actual game, and see what things actually look like while you're playing. This is very early into the game. Let it load up here. Anytime you're ready, game. All right. It's the bat. Yeah, you can already see this is pretty framey. Let's hop into the Batmobile. Let's kind of drive down the street so you can really see things you don't want to. Yeah, it's super chopping up here. Yeah. Definitely seeing a lot worse than it was showing in the benchmark. Oh, geez. That's no good at all. Um, like, once we get into a hallway here, less visually going on, you know, 
runs fine. Um, but just what, what you start seeing once you're actually running around the open world there. Sorry, my voice just wants to imitate the choppiness of the frame rate. Um, and once you start flying around here, eh, frame rate really doesn't look so good anymore. Uh, I'll split the video now and come back with a look at the game with some of those bells and whistles turned off. And we're back. I've turned some of those settings down, restarted the game for them to take effect. Uh, this is where everything defaults to me. You can see low, low, normal, and all these extra game work settings turned off. Um, I found I can turn on the enhanced rain and light options without much of a performance issue, as well as shadows. And found the game performing acceptably at these settings. Uh, that texture resolution is the big one. Uh, it will generally perform fine as long as you're looking in one direction, but once you start spinning that camera around trying to... Uh, as the game tries to load in textures with the resolution turned up higher, uh, it will chop up all to hell. So let's just hop straight back into the open world into regular gameplay so you can see what this looks like at lower settings. Uh, I should mention that it appears this game is locked at 30 frames per second even on PC. That is not an issue to me as again this is a very mid-range computer and I would not be getting much more than 30 FPS in any case but if you are a power user that is definitely something you're going to want to keep in mind. But, as you can see, this is performing much better. Still can see a little bit of choppiness here and there. Sort of as I, as I round corners in the Batmobile. Some power slides around here. To glide. And back up again. Definitely in some of those transitions as you kind of pop up over a building out of a glide and see a new vista over the city, uh, as all that stuff loads into your view, you're going to see a quick, just a quick bit of choppiness. Um, but other than that, I have really found the uh, performance here to be pretty acceptable. You can see even with the, those settings turned down, things still look real nice. You're not getting like those smoke and lighting effects to the same degree, but uh, I cannot complain about what I'm seeing here. Scarecrow could be somewhere on Bleak Island. I can't leave until I find him. But I think that about covers what you're going to see here. Again, uh, found mid-range settings totally acceptable here. People are very upset about the PC performance on this thing, but this is very much up to my standards. So if you are, have a sort of older graphics card or maybe a mid-level graphics card and you're concerned about hopping into Arkham Knight, I think, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. So thanks very much, guys.